Hey, money makers! I'm only coming with this voiceover because I, I I just was woke up out my little nap, my sleep, whatever you want to call it, and this was like very disturbing. Um, and I feel like I need to share this with y'all. I was dreaming that I was going to view Kanika's body, and they had it off in like this little room. At someone's house. When I stuck my head around the corner, it was like they had the casket like a right dead ass at the door. Like as soon as you walk through the door, boom, the body was to your right. Okay. And it was like no one was in the room. No one was crying. No one was shouting. No one. It was just silence. Okay, um, when I peeped in it, all I seen was like pink, you know, um, so I didn't walk up on the body. It kind of made me feel like if I walk around there, that body was just going to jump up and just start talking to me. So I didn't walk in there. I went home. Well, I didn't actually come home. I went to an old house I used to stay at, actually. And it's like we were inside the house, me and family. And it was like I could see someone peeping through the window. So I got up to in and go investigate and see what it was. So... When I opened up the door, and this and on this porch, at that house was rarely used. No, we didn't use that porch. We used the other porch. So, when I opened the door, the casket was there. And I looked in it, and I saw Kanika. And they had her on her side in the casket. And they had the top of it open. But it was like the side was glass. So I'm crouched down. And it was like a chair or something in between me and the casket. So I'm crouched down looking between the chair through the glass and it's like I seen her move so I just start calling her name I'm like Kanika Kanika you know and I could see her eyes just moving and it's like one popped open so I'm like oh lord this this girl isn't dead so I, I just stood up and I'm like I'm yelling in the casket Kanika 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 well, lo and behold, Kanika gets up out the casket and walks. At this time, you would think fear was all over my body like it was when I went to view her body at the other place. And, I, I, it, and I've never been in that place before, so I can't even describe, you know, where I could have been. It was an unknown place to me. So... Instead of fear, I was just like very, very inquisitive. I had to start bombarding her with questions like, how long have you been in there? How long have you been conscious? Like what happened to you? And this and then the other. So I ran in the house. I'm like, you, you need some water because... In my mind, I'm like, you know, if you, you just come back from the dead, I feel like you're thirsty. I'm like, do you need some water? You need some water. She wasn't, like, speaking. She was just doing a lot of nodding. So she nodded me to get her some water. I went to go get her some water. But when I come back out, the casket was still there. But Kanika wasn't on the porch. So... I I got this cup of water in my hand, and I'm immediately, you know, looking around like, damn, she can't have gotten far. She can't. She can't. So, when I stepped to the edge of the porch, 
and looks out into the yard. I see her, a little girl, and another woman sitting in a chair. It was three of them sitting in a chair. Kanika was in the middle. But they wasn't calling her Kanika. They was calling her Brittany. They was calling her Brittany. And I'm like, Brittany? And she was like, Brittany? And she even called her last name, which is puzzling me because I can't remember what she said. So I'm like, let me get my phone. I need to record this. So I went to get my phone. I mean, the whole camera icon was gone. Um, by this time, it began to have a lot of commotion in the street. Uh, this guy started beating this woman because she hadn't cooked for him and stuff. And he, you know, walks her around the road. And it was like a, a, a large crowd of people that followed, you know. And, and then out of the midst of the crowd, it was a preacher that stepped into the yard. And it was like 12 people just started joining hands, started joining hands. And the way it was, it it had to be like I was standing on top of something. Because I'm still trying to get my camera so I can record that this girl is alive, you know. And, and that this person that's calling her... Brittany appears to be her mom and the other little girl appears to be her little sister so someone snatched my phone and was like well here let me help you you you're too shaken up you need to calm down calm down so in the in, in, at the same time while the person is taking my phone trying to find the camera icon like I say these people are get like are it's mainly like a semicircle it wasn't a full circle and the preacher stood in front of us. And it was a white guy. He stood in front of us. And he asked us, like, what do we want to pray for and stuff. And, and I missed that part because, like I said, I'm too busy trying to figure out, you know, like, what happened to my camera. Why can't I record, you know, Kanika to prove that she's alive. And I'm like, you know, no one else sees that this girl is alive. Like, she's right here. She's alive. The casket is still on the porch. OK, so now we into this prayer and it gets to me and everybody has called out something. So I'm asking, I ask like my cousin was right there and I'm asking her and it's like she don't hear me. So I turn to my other side and the guy, he he didn't respond. It's like he didn't hear me. So I look directly into the preacher's face and I said, what was the question? He asked, he said, we were going around to tell what we need special prayer for so i'm like pray for my kids pray for my family my kids the most you know mainly my kids so it was like after that like i said i was like i was on top of something because i was higher than anyone else in that crowd so i stepped down and i ran around you know to where the three ladies were sitting um and the woman was on the phone and she was saying something and by this time it started being gibberish i couldn't understand what she was saying but she just kept on saying britney 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 so i'm like dang britney well you can call somebody brit to Bree from britney because you know in one of those uh videos shamaya was calling kanika Bree, Bree, you know and then I seen on on a um on like I I think there was Teresa's Snapchat, but it could have been Le Leonora's that they were saying dimples. They called her dimples as well. So I'm like, y'all need to come in the house. Come in the house. So I I go. I leave them in the house. The mother and the little girl didn't come in. So Kanika comes in the house and she gets on the couch and she stretched out and she lay down and she was just talking. But at this time, it seemed like everything somebody said was was like gibberish, like 
like speaking another language that I really couldn't understand. But it was like she could understand me. And every time I would ask her something, she would just nod her head. You know, and she's trying to talk. But like I said, I can't understand what she's saying. But her head was like nodding in agreeance or in disagreement. And she gets up maybe like 30 minutes later, seems like. And she starts walking around. And she stood in the window and it was like, I don't know, it was like relief just came off of her face. Like, finally, the truth is out there. The truth is out there. And so I walked to the window to stand beside her. And soon as I done that, it's like she just disappeared. She just vanished. I ran out the door. The casket was gone. And it had been there the entire time. And as soon as I hit that door and realized everything was gone, I just woke up. Just woke up. I just, I, I and I, I, I was in a cold sweat. Um, My breath was like really, really faint. And I mean, this was just really disturbing. And I know the Most High comes to me in dreams a lot of the times. And, um, and, and, and it seems like, you know, um, it seems like it's, it was like real clear that she could very well be alive. Like, she could very well be alive. Or, she was alive up until recently. Like, past the whole September thing in the freezer, you know? Like, she was alive. She was alive during all of that. I just feel like something is out there that everyone has seen and everyone knows but just haven't brought it to light haven't brought it to mainstream to be questioned to be targeted and that's why I'm going to take so much time in the beginning because something was there that would give us all the answers that we need. So, do we need to go back and figure out the meaning behind this name? Why was her name changed around so much? Do we know we don't know if she is Kanika Jenkins. We don't know if she's Kanika Martin. We don't know. But we do know that something is not right about this case. And I do know we got all the answers in the beginning. A lot of it has been snatched down. But for those of you that still have like screenshots from the messages when those kids in that party were telling on each other and everybody thought they were fake pages we need to bring them back to surface we need to bring back all the footage that they gave us at first not this shit we see now we need those little bits and pieces that they gave us at first Oh y'all, I'm I'm just really disturbed. I can't I can't go back to sleep. So I'm just gonna lay here and I'm gonna ponder on this and I'm gonna pray on this. But I just wanted to tell y'all about that dream, like and that's the first time I've ever just dreamt of Kanika. You know? And in the old house that I was at, you know, you know, all that stuff has meaning to me. So I'm going to 
take this to the most high. And I'm just going to ask him, what is it that you're trying to show me in that dream? Because I don't feel like I'm quite understanding everything. And I'm telling y'all, this case still bothers me. But this is the first time I've ever really just had a dream about this young lady. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still getting choked up. But something isn't right. And we have the information. And we know the answers. But there's so much distraction out here that it's hard for people to really just get the truth and y'all I'm trying my best to just get to the bottom of this and I've told y'all over and over we're gonna have to trial and error this thing until we get it right this shit still hurts me at heart but this dream, it was just so real. It was just so real. To see that girl rise up out of that casket and just step out and come towards me. I didn't budge. I didn't flinch. I didn't move. I was just in Oh, Like, I'm so glad you're alive, you know? And I feel like we just need to start with her name because something is going on something wicked and sinister is going on and you know I mean I I don't know who's to blame but I know that her family is foul her family has a lot to do with what's going on here. Her family knows more than what's going on. And they know more than what they're letting us know, you know. And they've been knowing since day one. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sitting up here like a big ass crybaby, but I'm telling y'all, this case still, it still bothers me. Because. It is something, it is something that we have had out and has been like pushed under the radar. And it's like we are getting close and it's like people are, are really, really getting down to the bottom of this. And every time we do, we're being told to shut down. We're being, you know, like just pushed away from the case by one way or another and this just really got my heart hurt and you know I just truly want justice for whoever or whatever happened like the main, like, more now, I just want justice for the people who's been up countless nights, who've cried and cried over this case. I still cry over this case, and it's, like, more so now because we done made it this far, and we still don't know. We still don't know what's going on. And, you know, for those that, that are really doing this from the heart, it really hurts. It really hurts to be lied to and to be played around with. Like, like this is a big game to them, you know? It's like they're laughing at us for caring, for trying to get justice for this little girl. It's like this was another drill or something. It's like... Oh, I don't know. I can't explain how I feel. But I know that what I felt in that dream was real. 
<laughs> and if that's the Lord telling me that this girl is alive, then Father, I thank you for it. But just let the truth come out soon. Because this case is still getting the best of a lot of people. It is still getting the best of me. And I just want I just want this all to be over. I really do. I want this all to be over. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry, but I just had to tell y'all that and I tried to 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 do this and I kept having to start over because I kept starting to cry. <laughs> but <laughs> but y'all I feel like we just gonna have to keep fighting. And we're going to have to try to figure this out because we're not going to get any help. We're just going to continue to get bashed for caring and trying to figure out what happened. I'm going to go because this just got me too emotional. I'll be back with a follow-up. But I need to go. And I need to take this to the most high once again to ask him what he is trying to tell me what is he trying to show me so that I can come and tell y'all but this shit still hurts because it's like we're back at ground zero we just don't know what to believe we don't know who to believe we don't know and it is sad this is very sad it's like the the citizens are hurting more than the family because it just it just kills me that I have not seen anyone dropping tears behind this girl. I think we've cried more for her than anybody else. I'm sorry this is so long. And I'm sorry that I had to get on here like a little bitty crybaby, but I tried to hold up. And I just, it's just, it's just not possible. I mean, y'all, I still cry behind this because this is really hurtful and it's really sad. And, um, I just want y'all to know that I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm trying to bring y'all some things that just don't make sense i know it'd be little bitty stuff but eventually we're going to be able to put all the little stuff together and we're going to come up with the big picture <laughs> but i just want to say money makers and y'all know i always do this on my long videos if you are here at this point And you are in my contest. I just want y'all to put crybaby in the, in the comments to get you some free entries. But y'all, I'm like, I'm real torn and I'm real shook up right now. Because I just don't know what to believe no more. And it's okay. For y'all to call me a crybaby, it truly is, but I just want the truth. I just wanted to get to the bottom of this. And we will, we will, we will. But that was just so disturbing because that was the first time out of all, all of this time. That was the first time I dreamt about that girl. And, and for me to dream that, this really got me shook up and it's really got me thinking like what do I have that shows what happened like it's something so I might need to take a break for about a day or two just so I can get with the most high and so the most high can just lead me to it can just show me what it is <laughs> So I can get some sleep. So my kids can have their mom back. You know. 
<sighs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm glad I didn't go like video recording because y'all have seen all this snotting shit in my nose. Y'all got me fucked up shit. Yeah, money stacks ain't going out like that. But anyway, thank y'all. If y'all are here, y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. I mean, I don't have time for all that bullshit with all those negative nancies. Because I promise from this point on, I'm just going to start deleting your shit. Like, I'm not even entertaining your bullshit no more. I don't even have time to be petty no more and play those games in the comments with those that try to come for me. Fuck you. Okay, that's how I feel about y'all. Fuck you. You get in my comments with some negative shit from now on. I'm just deleting and I'm blocking. So, it is what it is. And I mean that because I am so serious about this case. I don't care what y'all think of the content that I put up. But I guarantee at the end of the day, everything from September to now will all make sense in a few more days. A few more days, y'all. It will all make sense. So, money makers, please thumbs up this video. Please like it. Please share it. Please, if y'all are dream interpreters and stuff, tell me what it means. Ask me questions. I don't care if I can remember it. I will tell y'all that's another reason why I wanted to record it because I, I like I said I'm just laying here and I didn't feel like getting up it's like I really couldn't get up I can't get up so I just need y'all to get in the comments okay and if you're here put cry baby because my contest is still on I feel like I have to give back to my money makers and my contest is still on and if you're here at this point, then put Crybaby in the comments. And I'm going to give you 10 free entries. Even though I said I wasn't doing that anymore, I'm going to still give you 10 free entries in my contest. Because you stayed and listened this long. And I feel like that's the least I could do for you. But thank y'all. And please, get in the comments. And, and maybe y'all can explain, you know. Because it's just so much happened in that dream. And I, I think I might have been asleep for maybe a good hour and a half. Almost two hours. And this is what, I mean, you know, it was just so much, y'all. I'm going to go. I'm going to let this get up to you. And I, I just asked that y'all, you know, talk back. Tell me, just get in the comments, y'all. Get in the comments, y'all. We gotta, we're gonna figure this out. All right, y'all already know. Peace.